but so as I think about doing analysis on on the best in the world, um, I, I think what's useful for us as discus throwers is looking at what's what's helping them throw far. Like, wh- what is it about their technique that makes them throw so far, and what can we learn from them? So that's that's my goal with this analysis is to identify what some of the things that they're doing and what what we can learn. The basic principles of throwing far are the speed across the circle, like how fast you're moving, how fast, how balanced are you on top of your feet, and then how long you're working the discus. You know, that working the discus means that that turn and that push of the right side of your body, the throwing side, and that full extent, so like ground contact, how long you're working the ground, how fast that discus is moving. The ideal technique is that left foot turns out of the back and it continues to turn all the way until it comes off the ground. And let's watch watch his watch his left foot. Turning, 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 turning. That is perfectly smooth. So one thing he's got going good for him, he is perfectly smooth on his left foot. And look here, he is he is right, his body is right on top of that left foot. He's balanced, and it's easy for him to turn on that. The other thing is his left foot comes off the ground really fast. So he makes contact with his right foot. Like right there it touches, but I would say real contact on the ground is the next frame. So this left foot is, is, is way off the ground and close to his right foot. So that goes with what I just said, is that quick, that perfect turning on the left foot and the left foot coming off the ground very fast. And so um, what that does is allow the left foot to land fast in the front and catch a huge power position. So looks like left foot makes contact here where that discus is. It's back. I know it's blurry, but... Okay, and here, here's the kicker. Here's why he throws so far. And, and I, I will say it's because the back of the ring is so good. Because he's turning on his left so good over here. But look how he works his right side of the body. He is on top of that right side. Not pulling. So a lot of discus throwers that they plant their left foot here and then they use their back muscles here on this left side and start pulling away from the discus. Not this guy. Look at that. So his right knee is bent. Right leg's bent. So what I see here is his right leg right foot's turning and his the whole right side is turning and his hip is extending his right hip watch that right hip boom 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 so that's full that that right leg now has got full extension and that that and his he and he hasn't pulled away from it so then it's, his right arm is just rocketing forward Completely works the ground. Discus comes out here. That's why he throws so far. Perfect rotation out of the back. Strong right right side turn and push. And is on the ground forever. Very, very good. So let's, let's look at another angle. So here, coming from the back of the circle, let's see if we can see it a little bit differently. Holy cow, yeah, yeah. So what, what I was talking about before, that his left foot turns perfectly smooth out of the back. Kind of hard to see here. Yes, yes. I, I believe, I'm so certain, that that's part of the reason he throws so far. There is no hesitation of that left coming off. What that tells me is his right leg and his left leg are working together. So as that right leg is going to attack down here, that left leg is going to come off with it. 
boom, super fast. You know what? I, he has a perfect combination of left and right leg working together. I think, and then all that, that, that gives him control with the discus and constant tension. Yeah, let's go back. Okay, so he, watch again, what you got it when you're looking at discus technique, you gotta watch what the left foot's doing in the back of the circle. Very, very important. Left heel is turning. Turns and comes off perfect. What I mean perfect is, that means it doesn't have this stop and hit, doesn't have a hitch before it comes off the ground. It just simply turns and comes off. And that is because, look at this. I was talking about space between your knees. His right and left are connected. So as the right comes around, his left is popping off because they work together. Right down, left comes off. Very, very strong in his hip. This is super strong. Just check out the strength in his legs. Boom. Okay, look here. Left makes contact. Actually, before that, let's look at the right leg. Lands. On this throw in particular, it looks like he has a little bit of a lean to the side. I think he pulls out of it okay, though. Yeah, he does have this slight pull, even as he finishes a little bit this way. But what he does is have constant tension. His right leg continues to work, and... crushes it all right so so what is it that makes what is it that's making him throw so far i would say it comes down to perfect execution coming off the left so that left foot is turning and it smoothly comes off without hesitation he does that with strong hips uh and his right and leg and left are working together so he's doing that and that's just giving him this constant tension on the discus his right foot lands turns and and fully works the ground so that's world-class technique but uh so what can we learn what can we take from from him i mean we all are trying to throw farther so every single person like me included like that's all we're trying to do so we train and train and train to throw farther and i think he shows us that it's important to work on our, our back half of the circle and our lower body tightness. Because because of that, he is able to maintain constant tension. And even a throw like this where he's off a little bit, he's you know a little bit falling to the back, but he, we're st he's still able to keep tension in his core and his hip and finish the disc as well. Super, super good. So I think it just reaffirms what I've been what I've been teaching and what I've been doing is work on turning your feet, especially out of the back, and um, uh, work the ground as long as you can. And it's not about getting caught up in if he reverses or doesn't reverse. I really don't think that's the biggest debate in discus. I think I I don't think that's it. I think just Turn out of the back on your left, make that strong. Work the discus as long as you can at the front, and and you can throw you can throw very far.